With an eye on the growing tensions in the Indo-Pacific, the United States is likely to deploy more ships and submarines to Australia. Vying a united front in the face of China's rapid military advances, U.S. and Australia and the United Today, Kingdom, part of the AUKUS group, also agreed to welcome Japanese troops into the three-way rotations. Today we After an annual 2 plus 2 meeting between the two allies, U.S. and Australia reaffirmed their commitment to maintain status quo over Taiwan. Today we agreed to deepen our defense cooperation in several important ways including enhancing our force posture cooperation. And based upon today's talks, we will increase rotational presence of U.S. forces in Australia. That includes rotations of bomber task forces, fighters, and future rotations of U.S. Navy and U.S. Army capabilities. We'll also expand our logistics and sustainment cooperation, and that will deepen our interoperability and create more agile and re resilient capabilities. We'll also continue to find ways to further integrate our defense industrial bases in the years ahead. The U.S. Air Force has already sent more fighter jets and bombers to Australia after a 2 plus 2 meeting in 2021. B-2 Spirit stealth bombers were ultimately deployed in Australia for the first time earlier this year. Canberra has also been upgrading its infrastructure to accommodate B-52 Strato Fortress strategic bombers. Over the past 15 months, we've made great progress toward identifying a pathway for Australia to acquire conventionally armed and nuclear-powered submarines. Today, on behalf of President Biden, I want to reaffirm the U.S. commitment to ensuring that Australia acquires this capability at the earliest possible date. The developments are in line with the latest report that claims over two-thirds of Australia's territory is within China's missile range. A recent document submitted to Australia reportedly contains a map showing areas of Australia that are, that are vulnerable to future Chinese strikes. There are several artificial reefs and atolls in the South China Sea. These reportedly allow China to launch land-based intermediate-range ballistic missile strikes towards Australian territory. China claims almost the entirety of the disputed South China Sea as its own and has carried out sustained militarization of the region. As a pre preventative measure against Chinese hostility, analysts have called on the Australian government to take the necessary actions, like move the stockpiles, fuel depots and potential military bases further south in the mainland Australia. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.